Hello, this is Muhammad Yasser Arafat and we are going to discuss measuring techniques. To discuss measuring techniques, we must know about measuring instruments. Measuring instruments are used to measure various physical quantities such as length, mass and time. But here, we are going to focus on length and time measuring instruments. We are having measuring tape. This tape measures the length between two points and its least count is 0 0.1 centimeter. And this instrument usually used to measure the largest unit in for the measurement just like in meters. Meter rule. Meter rule is a length measuring instrument which measures the distance between two points. It is one meter long, usually used in a practical lab laboratory, and its least count is one centimeter. Calipers. Calipers is another length measuring instrument. It usually measures length in centimeters and its least count is 0 0.1 centimeter. Micrometer. Micrometer usually measures the length in millimeters. It usually measures thickness and, uh, and the, di the diameter of uh, small spheres. To measure the diameter of a small sphere, we need to focus on sleeve and thimble which gives us the reading of main scale and circular scale. If you see the sleeve, you will be able to see the main scale's division on the sleeve. And if you see the thimble, you would be able to find a divisions on in a circular shape, which will give you a circular scale reading. If you move the ratchet, you will able to find out the point of incidence between the sleeve and the thimble which gave you the point of incidence between the main scale and the circular scale. At that point you would be able to find out the main scale reading and the circular scale reading. When the thimble moves forward further you would be able to see the main scale reading the last division the last visible division will give you the main scale reading that is 13 millimeter and on the circular scale you would be able to see 43rd division just like here you are having a circular scale reading that is 43 division and main scale reading that is 13 millimeter now you need to calculate fractional part which is the product of circular scale reading and the least count Least count will be used in millimeters here. Then this product will give you the result that is 40, 0 0.43 millimeter. Now to obtain final reading, you need to add the reading of main scale and the fractional part which will give you the final result that is 13.43 millimeter. Now let's move to the stopwatch. This stopwatch is the time measuring instrument. We are having two types of stopwatch. One is analog and other one is a digital stopwatch. The least count for the analog stopwatch is 0 0.1 seconds. And the for digital stopwatch, the least count is 0 0.01 seconds. Thank you.